Here in part 8, the post is driven 100 mm into the ground in the, with the first hit. With the second hit, another additional 98 mm. In the third hit, additional 96 mm. It's keep on uh, reducing, decreasing. They want you to show that with the 20th hit, the post will be driven 62 mm into the ground. That's what they want you to prove. But if you put it as a sequence, this is uh, arithmetic sequence because we have the same common difference. So they want you to show the 20th term is this. So how do we find the 20th term? A n is a plus n minus 1 times b. That's a formula to find the nth term. So a 20 will be a is first term 20 minus 1 times the common difference 2. The common difference is not 2, it's negative 2. 90, 98 minus 100. So find this, you'll get 100 minus 38 is 62. So 20th term is 62. It's just a one more question. Now in part B, they want you to find the total depth that the post is driven into the ground after the 20th hit. So basically they want you to find the sum of this sequence. So the sum of this sequence is number of terms divided by 2. If you know the last term, use this formula. A first term plus the last term. So number of terms divided by 2 times first term plus the last term. So you get 162 times 10 one zero sixty sorry one sixty two one six two zero and one that's the answer for part b now here in part c it says if you read the question clearly you have to read and understand the question Read the question word by word carefully. It says after the 20th hit, the subsequent distance the post traveled driven into the ground forms a geometric sequence after 20th hit. On the 22nd hit, with the 22nd hit, 21st you don't know, 22nd hit, the post is driven 60 mm to the ground. They want you to find the common ratio. So if it forms a geometric series from here, this is first term, second term, third term, A3 is 60. So in a geometric sequence, finding the nth term, we use this formula. A r power n minus 1 is 60. A is the first term, common ratio power third term, 3 minus 1 is 60. So R will be square root of 60 over 62. They want the answer to three decimal places. So R is 0 0.984. That's the common ratio. So in part D it says after total number of total N hits. That means from the beginning total number of n hits, the post is driven more than 3 meter into the ground. You need to read the question carefully and look at these units. They say 3 meter. So in terms of millimeter, it's 3000 millimeter. So basically what they say, the total sum is greater than 3000 millimeter. So they want you to find the smallest possible value of n. Okay, now listen to me carefully. We got the sum of 1 to 20 terms in part B, which is 1620 plus. If you take from 21st term, that's a geometric, that's a geometric series. So let's say the total term is n. Not only this, the total, that means 20 plus whatever number of terms you have here, the total is capital N. 
So here the number of terms, let's say, let's say small n. Okay. So you need to find the sum of this as n is greater than 3000. So we need to find the small n first, the number of terms here. So 20 plus this number of terms will be capital N. So how do we find the sum of this here? You need to know 21st term. 20th term is this. And then it follows geometric sequence with R is square root of 60 over 62. So this times R will be the first term here. So 1620 plus the sum of N terms. The formula is A. A is this first term which is 62 times R. 62 times square root of 60 over 62 and then 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r is greater than 3000. If you are wondering why am I using the exact value, we got the r value rounded to three decimal place in part C. Do not use the rounded value. If you use the rounded figure in between your calculation, your final answer will be totally different. So try to use the exact value. And simplify this, make n as a subject. How do we do that? Bring this one here first, 3000 minus 1620, and then multiply by this. So you will get 62 times square root of 60 by 62 times 1 minus this is greater than 3000 minus this. So you will get 1380 times this. So you get 22.440 Divide this value by this now. You get 0 0.3679 extra, which is 1 minus 60 over 62 power n over 2. You can write it as f power n over 2, right? Because you have a square root. Now bring this here, this number here, 1 minus this number. So you will have 60 divided by 62 power n over 2 is less than because you are bringing this here, this number here. You get 0 0.632 etc. Et Take log with them both sides. So n over 2 log of 60 over 62 is less than log of this value. Divide this number by this. So you get n over 2, 13.9906, etc. And you bring the 2 here, multiply by 2, you get 27.9812, etc. That's n. And for this sign, right, when you divide by this number, let's check whether it's positive or negative. This is a negative number. So when you divide by a negative number, you need to flip the sign. So L here, the number of terms should be more than this. So we always round up. That means the next integer. So N is 28. So here you have 28 terms. Here you have 20 terms. So the capital N is 20 plus 28. 48 is the answer. Because capital N is the total number of terms.